Hello everyone, welcome to you all. My name is Jess, this is Key Tarot. This is gonna be a real quick general reading. I don't know who it's gonna be for, what it's gonna be about, but it will be for someone I am sure. Let us say a blessing and we'll get started, all right? Holy Spirit, thank you for being with us here today and in every breath that we take. We ask that these messages be received by those who are meant to hear them. Amen. I'm gonna start with a traditional Rider weight deck. In a nutshell, real quick, like somebody here is questioning a commitment in their lives, whether they want to commit, whether they want to stay, whether they want to go. Um, things have changed in this dynamic. It seems like it's changed very quickly. It went from um, kind of a flirtatious, maybe, wow. Oh, this is good stuff. Um, it, it was kind of flirtatious. It may have been, um, I mean, I'm hearing one night stand. Um, but it, it kind of feels like something that initially was more just attraction based that has grown into something that's more of a love relationship. I have the page of wands that turns into this knight of cups energy. The knight of cups, I always call that my Romeo card. Um, so this, this love does still feel a little bit immature at this point. However, I can tell you that the person that you're dealing with here has divine masculine energy in them. So I'm probably reading for someone who, it, they, I mean, all gender aside, because it doesn't really matter when we talk about tarot cards, um, it feels like I'm reading for someone with divine feminine energy in them. And I feel like you were waiting on this person to grow up. I feel like at one point you left this person like in the dust. And now something's changed. Now I'll tell you, if this hasn't happened to you yet, this may happen during Leo season. I have the strength card out here, which is representative of Leo energy. Um, but I feel like something has happened in this relationship that has strengthened the two of you together and brought the two of you together. And there is a marriage here that is about to happen, I think. I have that Ten of Cups energy there, which is all about, that's one of our soulmate cards, but it is about creating a family. It could be about a blended family coming together and coupled with that strength card. Um, that's pretty, pretty emotionally prosperous relationship there. I have the tower card that comes out with this emperor energy. I feel like this, in this particular scenario, this, this tower card is scorpionic energy. Um, this, this relationship is going to change everything in your life. And you may be a little bit scared of this because I feel like either this person wants to marry you and you know it and you're scared of it or you're kind of almost questioning a commitment here with this Hierophant on its side. The Hierophant is Taurus energy. I only call the Zodiac signs out in case they're of significance to you, but if they aren't, it doesn't matter at all. Um, and I've got the Wheel of Fortune on top of that, which is Sagittarius energy. You've got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, major arcana in a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight card spread so far. So this is a very, um, significant relationship in your life. Um, I do, I'm going to go back here and I'm going to clarify um, this Eight of Cups over here. My goodness, this person may have a lot of air in their chart, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. You guys have a very, um, I'm, at first I was hearing sexually charged relationship, but I'm also hearing passionate. Um, you may have very, um, I'm hearing volatile, but that's the wrong word for it. Um, just a lot of communication between the two of you that is passionate communication. And I don't mean to say that you're mean to each other because that wouldn't be good. And I don't mean to say that anyone is abusive in this relationship. It just feels like passionate conversation as well as a very, just, just passionate. Let's just leave it at that, right? Because YouTube does like us to be PG here, right? Um, I have the Four of Wands here, which is also that divine masculine, divine feminine energy coming together and creating stability in the world. Um, something has definitely changed here. This person 
wants you to know that they have changed. And this person will do basically anything that you need them to do in order for you to feel secure in this relationship. You're the only person they want to be with. You make them happy. Somebody here is going to have to physically re relocate and it's going to happen pretty soon. Um, you may not be with this person right now. This person may be traveling or out of town or on vacation or with um, family across the country or across the world or something right now. And this is good for you to have this time apart so that you can kind of get your head together here. Let me get another deck. I'm going to use... I gotta think about what I want to use. Hang tight. Yeah, I think I'm going to use this one initially what I was thinking. Um, so I have that Knight of Cups out there again right there um so that's the second time out for that little buddy um i think you're quite guarded about this you're afraid this person may not be telling you the truth um in the sense that i, I don't think you think that they're lying to you i think you just don't trust how intense their feelings are for you or vice versa and i've got the emperor right there on the bottom of the deck when we shuffled it very good again again with that divine masculine energy it's also aries energy in case it matters to you all right, tell me why you guys kind of split apart in the first place. Thank you. There was conflict between the two of you and you waited on this person. You waited for this person to decide who they wanted to be. This person was juggling you and another person at the time when they initially met you. We've got the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Swords again. Very good. You guys are definitely soulmates. I've got, and I've got... I've got the Six of Cups and the Four of Wands again. I love it when you guys give me the repeat cards. You know I do, because that tells me which energy is the most potent and the most important to your story. You guys are meant to know one another. It feels like you've both grown up a lot since the last time you were together. And I've got the Empress on the bottom of the deck. Very good. We've got the Emperor and the Empress. I was right. This has some kind of divine counterpart energy to it. Um, for a while, you guys didn't talk to each other. And there was a lot of regret for someone here for not doing that. Now, all of a sudden, it feels like the floodgates have opened for whoever this person is in your life. That's star-crossed lovers. I've got Aquarius energy there with this King of Cups energy. That's, um, I think that this, whoever this Emperor energy is to you, I feel like you came together, it happened very briefly, and then you split apart. There was conflict between the two of you, whether it was arguing um, or whether this person was juggling you and another person, and I feel like it was probably both. Um, you guys walked away from each other, and I feel like you both waited to reconnect. Uh, yeah, reconnect, re reconciliation, reunion with that Three of Cups. And there's the King of Swords again got the king and the queen of wands you guys are a true pair here man you just really can't make this stuff up <laughs> um so there was a lot of regret i think between the two of you when you initially met and then fell apart and i don't think you talked to each other for a long time now something has changed and now there's a major commitment here And you love each other equally on both sides. This person wants to do good things in your life. They don't want to tear you apart. They want to be good to you. This is really, this is real good, guys. <laughs> My goodness. Um, this person is very attracted to you. You're very attracted to them. There's a lot of passion between the two of you. And I feel like you want the same things for your lives. I feel like I'm reading for people who want to do good things in the world. And I feel like you both do. And I feel like you coming together, which is why we have this divine counterpart energy here with this four of wands twice like that. Um, these are people who are meant to come together because they're meant to create positive impact and change on the planet and just in the soul's growth in general. That's bananas. And I got the magician again. I think you may be worried about this person having mental health issues, or maybe they're worried about that for you. Maybe you're worried that this person is a little bit too invested in you too quickly. And I think that's why you're nervous about this commitment. Because your very first card out was the Hierophant that came out on its side. And when I get cards that come out on their sides, that tells me you haven't completely made a decision yet. Um, and the Hierophant is all about commitment. It's all about, it's about marriage. It's about doing things by the book. It's about doing things the right way. 
the right way. This person has a lot of money. They're very financially um, well off. They may have a child. Oh, okay. Initially, around the time that you met, this person may not have been doing so well financially. Now they are. Or they may have um, maybe been laid off from work or weren't working. That's not the case now. They're doing quite well now. They have elevated themselves. This person wants you to know that they have changed and they're serious. Tell me about this tower. One or the other of you may have have to or have had to go through some kind of serious ending in another relationship in order for the two of you to come together, um, like a divorce possibly. That could have been where we have this juggling energy over here. Oh my. Um, I've got the high priestess out there with this justice card, exactly. Um, justice is legal matters. And I've got the sun out there again. Um, whoever the feminine energy is in this reading, and again, it's not about your gender, it's about the energy that you carry with you. Whoever the feminine energy is in this, I feel like you've known it and you've known that this was your person for a very long time. And something very big had to change. This person may lose, this masculine energy may lose a lot of money or you as this feminine energy. I feel like I'm reading for the feminine energy here. Somebody here loses a lot of money in this. And I've got the eight of cups again. Um, whoever this feminine energy that I'm reading for is, you've got this nine of pentacles, which is the minor arcana of the empress. And it comes out with this queen of pentacles energy. You have learned how to be quite independent on your own. You don't really need anyone to take care of you. And that goes right on top of this empress energy. You may have to make a difficult decision it's the queen of wands again these are all repeat cards you may have to make a difficult decision um because there's some kind of physical relocation here that has to happen for the two of you whether it is this feminine that has to move house or this masculine that has to move house or whether the two of you have to leave wherever it is you live and in order to be close to each other let me just real quick, like with this third deck over here, there's a new beginning here with that fool card. Just take that. Um, somebody here is really nervous about this connection, whether it happened and there's the hierophant right when I split it. Very good. Um, somebody here has a child. You may both have children. Again, we had that kind of blended family marriage coming up here. There may be something important that has to do with a child that's at a distance. that justice card out there again for the third time that's Libra energy but that's about courtroom dealings that's about having to file legal paperwork somebody here has to get a divorce if they haven't done it already brutal brutal five of swords creates a lot of conflict if you are this feminine energy, and I've got the four of swords again, very good. If you are the feminine energy here, you're very loving, you're very kind, you're very giving, very motherly, um, just very giving. Um, you may be someone who has to stabilize the situation for this masculine energy, which is not easy. Um, I have this ace of pentacles, which is about the best anybody could ever hope for. It's... Um, it's a solid, stable, brand new beginning, but there is some kind of change that forces a separation of some sort because we have that four of swords. It can be, I mean, quite honestly, 
you guys may just need to get away together to really sort all of these feelings out like that. Um, every, all of this is going to, this deal is going to be sealed by the end of July, August time. And it is going to be very healing for the both of you. There's a reason why you guys have come together. And I do feel like there's a major commitment here. I think there's a marriage here for someone. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff. Um, but I feel like this is this deal is going to be sealed very quickly. And I think that's what it, I think that may be why you're so nervous about this. Because I've got this nine of wands. It's that wounded warrior energy. This is somebody who's been hurt before in the past. And so it's difficult to trust your own emotions here. I don't know. I feel good about this one, kids. No matter what, you're both going to be fine. You've I've got this emperor energy, this empress energy out here. And I think you're going to be more than fine together because there's so many pairings here. We've got so many court card couplings and in addition to that emperor and empress energy and that four of wands out there twice. Actually, three times with the emperor again. This is good stuff, kids. I mean, I really can't, I couldn't possibly make this up. This is just a really great love story for somebody out there. I'm impressed by you both, um, and I think you should be together. Um, I think that really the biggest hurdle to this relationship is getting out of your own ways, being super honest with one another about what it is you expect from one another, what it is you want from one another, and um, trusting yourselves and one another, for sure. Just trusting yourself in this. And I feel like it maybe happened very quickly and that could be a little bit scary. I do see that there are a lot of changes that need to be made in order for you to physically come together, to, to physically like be together, live together, whatever that looks like for you. There are some changes that have to be made here. Somebody is gonna lose some money and there definitely needs to be some legal paperwork filed. All right, it's all gonna be sealed up in Leo season. All right, kids, I love you all. I'm so glad I got to read this story for you. I hope you guys have a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you are so inclined and I will see you soon Mwah. to you all, my babies.